Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> we started our show slightly differently. No countdown today. So I. That's right. We're all on the air, though. This is good. It is good. How are you? I'm a little flustered today. I've had a I've had a very busy day, and and only minutes ago I was in a line at the grocery store, thinking I really have to get home immediately and brush my hair, <laughs> and set this. Well, not that there's much to set up, but get in front of the computer and get ready. So, I'm still feeling it a little bit. So today's show is going to be perfect, really. It is going to be perfect. I mean, we are going to be talking to Judy Kroll today, the fitness guru um, and also national television personality. And she's going to teach us how all we need to do is spend 10 minutes a day exercising and we can get in shape. So I need to know this. <laughs> That's three minutes more than I usually spend. But yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we can hit. Actually, I lie. I do do a seven minute workout every day, but when watching television, I usually do weights. So I'm working out without really realizing that I'm working out. And every time I take freebie for a walk, that's, a, that's something, right? It is, and that's what's so important that we, you know, at least do some kind of physical activity every single day. And, you know, she's also really helpful when it comes to diet and keeping in shape. Cause I mean, she is in amazing shape and um, she'll just, blow your mind. She when will blow your mind. Or in when, just a second. But I, I do want to share that we have this great gift that you and I were talking about last week. And it's incredible, really awesome. It is from Drunk Elephant. And so if you don't know who Drunk Elephant is, it's one of the most popular skincare brands out on the market right now. And they sent me this gift set. And Cindy and I are going to share this with a lucky winner. Um, and in order to enter the contest to win this, you we ask that you subscribe to our YouTube page. And also um, like our Breaking the Rules page. And please share this on your Facebook page, share this show today, and you will be entered to win this awesome gift. And this gift is has a cleanser, it has a facial mask, it has marula oil, which is like incredible for your skin and good for any skin type. And it also has a nighttime hydrating mask as well. So huge value. And if you guys are listening, you might not think it's uh, great for you, but this is great for guys and girls. But I know guys out there, if you enter to win and you give this gift to your girl, you're going to score huge points. <laughs> and uh, Drunk Elephant is not paying us to say this, but nope. I've been using it and it's incredible. My mm -hmm. skin is looking better now than it did 10 years ago. Wow. So, and yeah. that's, that's product. And I've never been a product pusher, but it's it's just really, really good. It is. I mean, I'm blessed being a beauty expert. A lot of brands send me products in the mail all the time. And I really don't recommend anything unless I personally like it or, you know, and I get to share it with my friends like you. Right. And what do you think? And so anyway, but we want to, you know, thank you guys for joining us and supporting us. And uh, so there it is again. This is how you enter. Subscribe and follow us and share this show with your friends because we want to get the word out. And um, we're here every Wednesday at four o'clock live on Facebook and YouTube. That's right. Even after, if we're at the grocery store at 20 to four. We That's still, right. We still, thank goodness it's nearby. <laughs> Shall, would you like to uh, introduce our first guest? I know you already sort of have, but let, let's give her a proper intro here. For sure. Well, Judy Kroll is a former QVC host with personality. I mean, just plus. Personality. personality plus. <laughs> yes, she is just awesome. Um, she, you can find her weekly on her Sunday Fun Day Facebook, uh, which is a live show with her husband, Paul DC, and on her YouTube with her 10 minute Get Fit with Judy videos that rock. I've been doing these videos, and let me tell you, you can see a difference. So we'd like to welcome to the show, Judy Kroll. Hey. Hi, girls. It's so good to be here. I'm really thrilled. I've been excited about this all week. Judy, how, how is it that your skin is looking so amazing? Are you using any special potions and lotions? Um, I actually did cheat and put on some body spray. So maybe that's, maybe that's what you're smelling. <laughs> 
You smell so good. I need to get, is this a glistening body spray? Where, what is this? I want yes, some. It is. It's lovely. I'll have to share it with you. I don't remember the name, but it really does smell amazing. I think I got it at one of those parties, you know, those at home parties. And I just, they were passing it around. I, everybody wanted this spray. So I'll have to share it with you later. I can't. Wonderful. Remember. Oh, yeah. look, we already have comments. Oh my goodness. Let me put some up. Um, Hey. Goodness gracious, you may recognize this guy, Paul DC. <laughs> Let's break some rules. Hey, hi, Paul. <laughs> hi, Paul. hi, and Catherine. Thanks, my sis. Hi, Kath. Love we've, you. Uh, we've received questions for Judy, so feel free to put them in the comment section during the show so we can ask questions and have her answer them live right here for Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Hey, uh, Judy, you've got a fan. Glenna saying, Yay, Judy. Yeah, I, I uh, promoted this on my Facebook page. Hi, Glenna. So I'm hoping that a whole lot of people will come over and break the rules right along with us on your show. So I have a feeling you'll have, you know, a lot of people watching today because they're and curious as to what we're going to talk about. I told them that your first guest, we talked about you guys on Sunday Funday. And as you said, Michelle, I have that on my page with Paul at noon every weekend. Yep, I watch you every week. I love your show. <laughs> oh, that's so, so fun. fun. <laughs> But we were saying that your very first guest when you launched this show was a sex therapist. And yeah. so I said, so that should set the tone for how yeah. this is going to go. <laughs> it's pretty loosey-goosey. You never know what was going to come up. <laughs> I know. I said, if I could only be a fitness expert and a sex therapist, now that would be a show. That's I actually I thought about becoming a sex therapist early early on when I was at uh, college. I thought, maybe I could do that. But then here I am, just sharing <laughs> the uh, expertise of real sex therapists. Uh, we will, uh, we welcome the gentlemen, uh, Paul, Chris. Hi, Chris. Thank you for tuning in. Mariana. Uh, Le, is that LaDawn? Hi. LaDawn is Glenna's sister. Oh, they lovely. A lot of recipes that Paul and I do on our In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy show. And they're such good cooks. So it's really fun to, but <laughs> we don't practice their recipes ahead of time. We just go for it. We just oh. kind of buy the ingredients, show everybody what we need. And then we start you know, making. And sometimes it works. And sometimes we put the bloopers at the end of the videos of the parts that didn't work so well. <laughs> we love that. And I want you to know, this is an international show. We've got uh, Kim watching from Fredericton. Hey, Kim. How cool. you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we want to talk about fitness because uh, confession, I used to have a gym membership once upon a time. I even had a personal trainer. And at the time, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. No, I didn't. Who am I kidding? I hated it. <laughs> I liked what it was doing for me and it does help to have somebody push you, but yeah. I really didn't get a lot of joy out of it. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. I was a fit kid. I was fit. And when I went to uh, high school, college, the fitness went way downhill and I, I kind of let it go for, for a while and I, I got pretty unhealthy. And now, thankfully, back to the, the fitness again, but totally different mindset, total different approach yes. and not putting not seeing it as a grind. Mm -hmm. Not because yeah. I know I'm not going to do it for an hour. I'm not even going to do it for 30 minutes. But yeah. Judy, you're here to tell us you don't have to do it for 30 minutes, right? Well, my whole philosophy is that if you have to set aside an hour every day, we're going to end up feeling exactly like you. It becomes a grind because nobody really has that time. And the truth is, it's not just an hour. If you're going somewhere, it's typically you're getting ready and it's a 15 to 20 minute drive. And then you're getting your locker and you're putting your things in your locker. And then the class starts and then you have to unwind and do the same thing backwards. So it ends up being a big time commitment. And but I still feel like if you can get a five or 10 minute workout in every single day, it will accumulate because everything adds value. But what I like to do is mix it up. So as Michelle was saying, and actually there are a couple of people who have said, what I like to do is an arm workout that's only five or 10 minutes. And then I alternate it with another workout. Maybe it's thighs, maybe it's glutes, maybe it's abs. So they're mixing it up that way because sometimes 10 minutes goes so fast. You think, oh, well, I, I could allot another 10, but you're doing it in your own home. So you don't have that whole prep, set up, locker, drive, because everybody's been home for the last nine months. So mm -hmm. that's why I thought the timing of this was so good. And I was so complimented, Michelle, when you told me you were doing my arm workouts. I, oh. I said to Paul, Michelle's doing my arm workouts every day. This is so cool. It's really I'm helping. 
Well, now I'm doing more and I, you know, now I'm, I'm texting you asking questions because I, I do the bar three classes, which okay. I know you do bar, but just that story. I remember it was about 2010. We met working at shop HQ up in Minneapolis. Yes. And I was using heavy weights and working out and you uh, spent the weekend with me because you were up there, um, basically promoting your own beauty and style, um, you know, style and your, your gemstones and you had your own line at shop HQ. And I said, um, Hey, you are in such great shape. Like, what do you do? And you said, I just use two to three pound weights and I do these simple exercises every day. And so I asked you to show me and it made a huge difference because prior to that I was using heavier weights and I was getting bigger. Yeah, I wasn't fitting in my clothes. Yeah. So, you know, now I, I started the bar classes because you take the bar classes. Like whatever Judy does is what I do. <laughs> <to> pick <laughs> okay. Because I'm like, she's a little older than me and look at her. She looks amazing. And it's it's not even just about how you look. It's it's about your you're toned, you're in shape, you've got a lot of energy, yeah. you know, you're helping to to balance your um, hormones and your sleep patterns because you exercise, there's so much involved in it. And so, um, so that's why I reached out and said, I want to start doing your 10 minute videos because I feel like, um, and this has been the consensus with a lot of my friends, um, you know, during the pandemic, we've been eating a little bit more. We've been drinking a little bit more wine. We're not exactly as consistent with our exercise routines. And so I feel like I need more motivation and I need to learn how to target certain areas. Yeah. So yep. because I'm having a, it's, it's, it's tougher as you get older to build that definition and yeah. build the muscle and to can retain it actually. Right. And I think, you know, I, I love the name of your show, Breaking the Rules, because I think that more and more women as we get older and especially that sort of baby boomer and next generation near that age group, women in their late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s now are feeling like, hey, I'm not dead. I want to make the most of the rest of my life and I want to look good, feel good and also be healthy and be proud of myself. So nobody can do that for you. And it's funny, Cindy, when you were saying that you were fit as a kid, I was just the opposite. Mm. I was not fit as a kid. I was kind of roly poly. And when I grew up, I, you know, and, and that's the other thing about breaking the rules. I think that we have to get out of our heads what people have told us. Yeah. Well, you're not going to be this because of that. Well, you have these kinds of genes. Well, you uh, weren't born to have a, a narrow 18 inch waist. Well, you're, you know, your grandparents, your grandmother was always heavy or your other grandmother had diabetes or she had heart disease. And so, you know, that's what you can anticipate. No, I think we have to break those rules in our own heads and say, no, no, this is my life. And God gave me this clay, but he left it to me to sculpt. So that's what you have to say in your mind is how badly do you want to feel better, look better and be proud of yourself? Because you can't do it for your husband, can't do it for your boyfriend, can't do it for your kids. But in fact, if you still have kids at home or grandchildren and they see you putting the time into your body and working out, they'll remember that. I remember when I was young and my mom would go to these workout classes or go to a gym or go to a ballet class. And that stuck in my head as, well, this must be important. Right. You sleep better. You feel better. You know, you, you just have more confidence. I think your skin glows and you will take better care of yourself. You were talking about nutrition as well. Mm -hmm. One of the tricks that I sort of created for myself when I got to college, because that's when I started to slim down. And then I started to get into aerobics. Then I decided to become an aerobic instructor. Then I decided to become a certified personal trainer. And it just kept going because my body was changing so dramatically. And I loved the difference. I loved the way I started to look in my clothes. And so I wanted to be sort of an influence on other people and tell them, this is how you can do it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't because at any age, Wherever you're starting, you're going to get better. So it's not like it's ever too late, which is another one of those rules that in your head you have to break. It's never too late to start. I also notice it's if you're feeling any kind of anxiety or depression, it's yes. remarkable yes. how that how a little spurt of exercise can make such a huge difference. It'll just take all that anxiety up here. Yeah. And and 
after seven minutes, I feel like, oh, I've it's washed off me somehow. It's remarkable that it does that, Cindy, is because you get out of your own head. Mm. You're in your own head and all you can do is think about this problem or that problem, how you didn't sleep and how who's going to who's going to do this. And what about the money and what about the job and what about you get yourself so stressed and so worked up that you can't get out of your own way. Mm -hmm. If you can then concentrate on something else, put on some good music, put on a workout video, you're thinking about something different. And, and also those endorphins start going. You're still burning calories and that is a huge stress relief. So you're absolutely right. That's a big another big reason to keep it up. Now, Judy, what are some of the mistakes that people make that when they're going to work out? Because I know that you can also hurt yourself. Yes. Um, and I see that a lot when I used to go to the gym right now, I'm working out at home, but I would look at people and think, oh my gosh, that just doesn't look like it's good for, you know, for the body. What are some yeah. of the top, like top three things that people should really keep in mind when working out so that they don't get hurt? Well, one of the things you touched on already, and that is using too much weight. If you start out using too much weight because you think, well, I can handle it. Or if you're going to a place where you feel intimidated because you're watching somebody standing next to you using a five or a six or an eight pound weight. And here you're standing over here with your little two or three pounds. You have to kind of almost put your blinders on and not compare yourself to anyone else. You also have to know your body. I don't have a very good back. I have a real sway back. So sometimes in class or on a video, if I see someone doing something and I think, oh, if I do that, I'm not going to be able to walk for three days, then I know I've got to do an adaptation of that particular move. So you have to listen to your body. Yes, you want to feel that challenge in your muscles, but you don't want to feel that pain like and when we all know the difference of a sharp twinge or a sharp tweak versus oh my gosh how much longer is she going to keep me holding my arms up here because i'm dying here but it's not it's a it's a good kind of challenge it's a good right. kind of oh that felt so good i'm glad it's over but it felt so good you know what i mean yeah so not like all of a sudden your neck hurts or your i mean because that's or your shoulders hurting when you're lifting a weight that's when i've yeah. said okay that's it back off but then exactly. you know from you i've learned two to three pound weights which i was shocked all right that you can get I, such a uh, that you can see so much of a benefit from yeah. such light weights right yeah i mean yeah. we have some demonstration <laughs> Are you going to put us through our paces? Yeah, that's why I came down to my little gym. This is a, a teeny little room that I have, but this is the, the location where I shoot my videos for YouTube. And I actually did put up a bar so that uh, okay. and I always tell people that if you don't have a bar in your uh, house, you can always use a kitchen counter or you can use a bathroom counter. I even did a workout in my bathroom to show people anywhere in your home. I did a whole workout around my kitchen using paper towels, using step ladders, using soup cans. So you can do these workouts at home regardless of the environment in which you live. But I'm gonna get my weights because I okay. want to you guys a workout. Are you ready? And I just, you do this? I've got five pound weights, so I think I'm gonna have some regrets, but also, <laughs> I, once you get to know these methods and things, and if yeah. you really want to keep yourself distracted with TV at the same time, you could have Judy on, mute her, sorry, Judy, <laughs> <laughs> and still watch a show, but follow along with what she's doing. Yeah. Like, right. I've gotten to the point now that with the girl that I watch on online, I've got her on mute and I've got the TV on where I'm still listening to it, but I'm following along to her um, instructions. Yeah. And that's another way, the seven minutes goes by like that because I don't even really notice so yeah very true yeah. and the other thing that uh, I was going to tell you this before the show because I never ever work out without music but I was afraid and I called the company I actually did one of those online chats with them just before the show and I said I really want to use my music because I'm going to be on a Facebook live today can I do that and she said we can't guarantee that Facebook won't mute it so uh, I decided that I didn't want to suddenly yeah, have the whole show it. stop with the audio. So we're going to do this without okay. music. But right. we'll, we'll okay. kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going to start a little timer so I don't uh, okay. throw you guys out too much. Okay? All right, you guys, grab your two pound weights at home if you want to follow along with us. Yes. Oh, there's my friend, Justin Tracy, and he says, home is where the health is. And he is so right. You should see this guy. He has transformed his body. He really? He looks wow. incredible. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and as I say, you can do this without weights 
and you can do this with soup cans if you don't have an, a set of dumbbells yet. Okay. But it's a good goal and they're very inexpensive. You can find a set of weights anywhere. And then as you get stronger, you can work yourself up to a three pound. And there are even some exercises I do with five, but you'll see them in my upcoming videos. Okay, so you're gonna start with your arms straight out. I know my, my weights um, just disappeared. In I already have regrets that I have five pounds. <laughs> oh, I know. This is my arm flap. Can we help get rid of this? Um, oh, <laughs> shut up. Where did you? Did you? For a workout that, yoga top that I'm wearing to hide my arm flap. That's that great. Arms. Okay, that yoga top is too cute. I have to talk to you about that afterwards. Yeah. But what you're going to do first is all all you're going to do is just little up. So I want you to have your uh, your weights facing this way. Okay. So your hands. I know you can't see me, but I want your weights facing this way. So they're actually going up to the ceiling. So just little up, 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 and up. Keep going. Up, 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 and up. Now bend, straighten, lift and bend, straighten, lift, bend, straighten, lift. These are too heavy. I know. I I said, tell you, dude. All I have, the lightest I have are five pounds. I said, okay. okay, I'm doing it without. Yeah, do them without. Or have it, or grab some soup cans from your pantry. I gotta put my other arm up. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm the only person tethered to her computer right now. I gotta oh, get some earbuds, true. but I will. Don't worry. All right, so at this point, I want you to do little circles. Just little circles forward with your arms. Everybody now, everybody okay. who's watching, yeah. do this with yeah. us. Put that little music in your head. Okay, reverse that circle. Go in the other direction. Even without weights, I can feel this. Exactly. Yes. That's why I don't want you to go too heavy. Okay, now goal post arms this way. Now a little push to the ceiling. Just push, 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 push. Yep, keep going. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. And <laughs> is your stomach held in? Oh, oh no. Hold in your stomach. Zip up those abs, girls. Zip them up. Okay, now we're going, hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. And you keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. So don't drop those elbows. Higher than the other, okay. Keep okay. those elbows up, okay? And the only thing moving really is the forearm, but this is great for the shoulders. Now, if you have bad shoulders, don't do this because you need to rehab first if you're, if you're having issues with your shoulders. Let's keep your arms up and just keep doing these, okay? So hello, goodbye. And now from here, arms are still up. And I want you to go up in two, up in two, and down in two. Up in two, and down in two. Are you feeling this yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> up in two, and down in two. Now single. Up and down. Touch those weights at the top, and down. Touch at the top, and down. Okay. So Pop, down. And down. Honestly, you do not need weights oh. to feel this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's the other one that I love. Okay, now let's bring them in front. I'm going to turn so you can see. Okay. Now let's pump to the ceiling again. Just keep it going. One of the reasons I love arm workouts is because that's the best place to see almost immediate results. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like satisfaction. We're in Florida, so we do a, wear a lot of sleeveless tops. Yep. Yeah. Now what about like tummy area? That's got to be another tough. It is. And abs are my least favorite thing to do, which is why I haven't done a whole workout on just abs yet. But I started a new series called Fit in Five. Ooh. And your, your interpretation can either be fit in five minutes to get fit or get fit in five minutes. Nice. So it's of a play on words. OK, from yeah. here, let's drop them. Oh. And now I want you to roll <laughs> out your, finger, your hands at the oh, wrist holy. and go the other way. And that was only three and a half minutes, by the way. That wasn't even. Wow. Did you feel okay. that? Okay. And hold your shoulder. Yeah, there you go. And just give a slight pull. That should feel really good through the shoulder. Okay, switch sides. Other arm across the chest. And drop your shoulders. Don't have your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders. Pull on that one arm across the body. Okay, lift one arm up over your head. Grab your elbow with the other hand and give a slight pull. Just mm. a, like a little hinge. Okay, other way, other arm up. This feels good. Well, doesn't that feel good? We should always do this. Yeah. In fact, that's what I was going to tell you. Okay, big inhale and exhale. <sighs> ah. A little bit of workout. A little bit. And, and you know, that makes a difference. And you know, we were talking, Michelle mentioned um, stomach toning. Yeah. Uh, I just want to share that the person that I've been watching who, who, who talks about sculpting this stomach. She never has to, she said, you never have to get on the floor for, for her exercises to shape your stomach. So everything you've heard in the past about sit-ups and, and planks and all that business, yep. 
doesn't have to even come into the equation because since I've been doing her workout, which is pretty much all standing, there's only one move that I've ever done with her where I'm actually down on the floor. On the floor. Mm -hmm. My stomach has got an actual definition. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 all in, it's, it's all in the movement and how she exactly. uses different parts of your body and has you moving in different directions. Yeah. And, and it's like, like a minute each um, move. Mm -hmm. So you, you do not get bored and you just keep going. And then before you know it, you're sweating. It's right. It's, you know, you really feel like you've just run a marathon, <laughs> even though it's been seven minutes. So I think the other thing that I like to encourage my um, followers to do is to get things like this, get weights. Yeah. Also, you can get things like this resistance bands, yeah. because you can do an awful lot with these things too, for resistance, instead of having to use weights but also they travel really well. So now there's no excuse when you do travel not to take your workout with you. And I think sometimes even balls, when you can use a ball, like put it between your knees and you can do like little squeezes like this, it adds variety to the workout. So you don't feel to your points, Cindy, you don't get bored. So if you have music to keep you motivated, you have kind of, I call them my fitness toys, for just changing things up. You're doing different moves. You can do a lot of moves with your hips that are actually working the oblique muscles where you can see those six pack abs. I don't know. I just find there's so much satisfaction in it. I really get enthusiastic about fitness for people. There's, my dear friend Tracy's watching right now. She's very disciplined, Aww. much more than I am. I think <laughs> I do believe Tracy goes to the gym regularly. So she, yeah. Good for you, lady. I know, exactly. Um, how, can you do the same exercise routine every day or how often do you have to change it up? I mean, should you change it up? Cause I know that I've like certain classes that you teach or, you know, I like certain bar classes and I might do those over and over again. Is that yes. to do? You can, I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. You're right. There are certain uh, routines that you like better than others. There are certain moves that you like better than others. Some are a little bit more dancey. Some are a little bit more isometric. And there are even instructors when you go to a class that you like better than others, just because of either the way they teach or how hard they push you or the type of, you know, dancey or, or other the calisthenic type exercises. We're all drawn to different things. But no, there's nothing wrong with doing your favorites every day, especially if that keeps you motivated and keeps you doing it. Now, Judy, I, as soon as people start talking about diet and deprivation, that's yeah. when things go south. Go south, yes. So for you, I'm looking at your body. You're, you're. I don't know. Do you want to share your age? You don't have to. You can give yeah. us a range. I feel like it's uh, one of those things where even though I said break the rules, you, you're not your mother and you're not your grandmother. So get those thoughts out of your head of what you were told you can't do or can't mm -hmm. be. I did grow up in the generation where you weren't supposed to talk about your age. And my husband said to me, you're crazy. Here you are, a certified personal trainer. You're trying to inspire others. And if you don't say your age, they're not going to be understand how far you have come and what you mean by it's never too late. So. I just turned 61 this year, so I'll be 62 in April. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. As we said before this show, she does she never had Botox, work, <laughs> nothing. It's 100% <laughs> natural. And that's why whatever Judy does, I do. <laughs> We're not worthy. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, what are you doing now? <laughs> well, you know what's interesting, though, Michelle, and another thing that I really never talked about at the time, but just so uh, like you realize that nobody from the outside from the outside looking in, it seems perfect. Like it was so easy for them. Richard Simmons, when I worked as a host on QVC, he loved coming out on the set and he'd say, not everybody was born like Judy, a size two. And I never got a chance to interrupt him because he or he's on a roll with his deal and meals. And he's the sweetest man. I loved Richard Simmons. But I used to want to say, tug on his sleeve, Richard, I wasn't born a size two either. If you only had any idea what I went through growing up. But then also even later in life, I had a cancer scare. And I had a lumpectomy um, when I was hmm, 50. That's right. I had just turned 50. So everybody has something that they're going through or that they've been through. I guess that's one of the reasons why I say 
You need to take care of your health because you never know what's going to happen. And if you are stronger and if your bones and your muscles are stronger, you can avoid some of those diseases that you just assumed, well, because somebody in my family had it, I'm going to go down that road too. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know what comes in our path or how, you know, how or why, and we drive ourselves crazy. Cindy, you were talking about getting stressed. You talk about stress and worry. Michelle, I know you went through that fear at one point too. But if we can do things now to do the best we can with our nutrition, with our supplements, taking care to ask about our hormone levels, because as we age, you know, it used to be our moms and grandmoms didn't have the opportunities that we have now to say, what is out there? What can I take that's not going to be dangerous? What can I look into as far as bioidenticals are concerned? And what kind of research has been done on that? I'm, I'm just a sponge for information. So I like to pass that on. Going back to your question before, before I forget though about nutrition. Mm. I was gonna say that I did, when I was a kid trying to get rid of all that weight, did all those fad diets that you heard about and read about, fasting for three days or the only the grapefruit diet or only the protein diet. And after a while, regular life kicks back in and you have to be able to exist going out to a restaurant with friends and then and, and going back to your routine, just like I hope we can eventually do after this COVID business is over. Mm. But when I was in college, I said, OK, I don't want to deprive myself because I know what happens. You binge each eat. So I'm going to take the meal that I have and I'm going to cut everything in half. I'm going to cut the chicken portion in half. I'm going to put the cut the potato in half. I'm even going to cut the salad in half. I'm only going to eat half of what's on my plate. That way I get a taste of everything. And if you start to realize that after that 15 to 20 minutes, you're starting to feel satisfied because you've slowed down and you've really sort of eaten it in moderation because you're only eating half, doesn't mean that you're wasting the other half. You can save it, you can wrap it up, you can take it home in a doggy bag, eat it the next day. But you have had that satisfaction of all of those flavors and all of those tastes without having to say to yourself, no, bad girl, you know, you're not allowed to eat that. You can't have that little cupcake. Well, you probably shouldn't have the whole cupcake, but why not cut that cupcake in quarter and at least get a flavor? Then you can say to yourself, yep, I know what that tastes like and I know what the rest of it's gonna taste like and I don't need to now taste the rest of it because I had that satisfaction. Well, so that's how I lost a lot of weight in college. I lost like 20 pounds. That makes a lot of sense, but I'll say what the hell, I'm gonna eat the whole cupcake, but then I won't do it again for a long time. Like. Plus, Everything. if you don't buy it, you don't eat it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, if you don't have it in the pantry, you're not going to eat it. <laughs> don't buy it. And uh -huh. you know what I hate is when I hear somebody say, I have to buy this stuff for the kids. If oh, you wouldn't okay. feed it to your dog, why would you feed it to your child? Yeah. And then There's a good point. No, good information because I think it is portion control. And I do believe these days. Would I feed it to free well, and so often, you know, I have friends that say, well, I've started working out and I've been working out regularly and I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but I'm not losing weight. Right. Or, or my body's not changing. And yeah. I've heard that it's like 85% nutrition. Well, not just nutrition, but what you're right. eating. Right. Yeah. Calories in, calories out is what they used to say. And there was another fitness um, expert that had a phrase, a saying, and he would say, move a little more, eat a little less. And so if the question is, do I need to be on portion control or the question, well, I'm working out now and, you know, I'm on that treadmill uh, uh, three times a week or I'm getting out and I'm doing my walking. Why can't I lose this weight? You know why you're not losing the weight. Yeah. The, that's the other thing about you're, you're not kidding yourself. If you say, I, I just really don't understand, you know what you're putting into your body or uh, into your face, as they say. And if you really, really, really want to do something about it, you just have to, you know, straighten those elbows sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's why I say you can't do it for somebody else. This has to be an internal thing that you say, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it for me. And I'm going to be so proud of myself when I fit in that workout or when I only eat half of what's on my plate and I take the other half home because I know what it tasted like. And then I, it sometimes even gets to a point you'll laugh, but sometimes it even gets to a point where, when your stomach starts growling, it's like, that's a really good feeling. I know the next day I might be a couple pounds lighter. <laughs> I, and also it, it becomes a, it, you know, it's amazing how working out something that you might hate doing will eventually, the more you stay at it, it will become a habit. Right. And if you don't do it, you feel like 
hmm, something's missing from my day. And, and yeah. I mean, I, the, I've actually started to really almost need it, which I've never had in my really? whole life where I felt like I need to have my seven minute workout today because I yeah. haven't done it and I don't feel right. And so, it's only seven minutes that you're talking about. And that's the other thing we were saying earlier is everybody can just set aside that little bit of time. And then you're so proud of yourself when you've gotten that accomplished. And you're right. Then you can say to yourself, OK, I, I feel a lot better. I fit that in. I made that time for me. And so now I can kind of move on. And, and I, I don't want anybody to think I'm laying down eating bonbons when I'm not doing the seven minute workout, because that's the seven minutes where I'm getting my heart rate up. But yeah. I was, I was talking to Michelle earlier today. I take the dog for a walk almost daily. It's not a fast walk, but it's still walking mm -hmm. and also working out with weights while I'm watching TV or during a commercial break. You yeah. know, it's amazing how you can fit stuff in without, you know, putting yourself on this strict schedule. Right. Just pick them up. They're next to you. Keep them next to the couch. If that's where you find yourself spending five hours a night, keep them next to you and yeah. get get up and just yeah. do it while you're watching The Voice. That's <laughs> what I do, honestly. No, no it's true. I love that you have the 10 minute videos because you make it simple for people to get started as well for those who don't even know where to begin to learn how to work out. Yes. And that's a really, really good point. I think some people don't get into a fitness routine or they get intimidated and because they don't know the right questions to ask. It's like a one on one, Michelle, that you and I had. I could say to you, well, the reason you're getting bulky is because you're tr you're trying to lift too much weight. So you're bulking up instead of just getting that nice definition and tone. Um, right. But you can do these things, whether you're seated or standing, you can do these things if you have only a small footprint and you can also do these things. Oh, Sorry, breaking the rules. you're breaking the rules. Oh, because oh, oh, yeah. who brought me. Rick oh. brought me one too. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> this is also a bit of a reward after a workout too. Well, this, is, this is a nice segue to, you know, I went to my doctor uh, a couple weeks ago, my hormone doctor, who is also a, a very well-known physician. So he checks, you know, my health and all of my levels for everything every six weeks. And he said, oh, I, because I said, I've gained a few pounds. Well, of course, it's been COVID and eating a little bit more. And, you know, just what I was talking about with my friend sharing with me has been my lifestyle too. Yeah. And I said, I just need to hold, I need to cut back on the wine. I know. And he oh. said, no, <laughs> I want the wine. Just work out more. Because I used to do my workouts five days a week. And I was like, I'm doing two, I'm doing three. That's when I texted you the next day, Judy. And I said, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to start doing your exercises as well to, you know, just to change things up because I think not going to a gym or not going to a class, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a little bit more um, challenging to just make myself do it every day instead of being like, I'm out the door every morning at 930 for my 10 a.m. class or after work at six o'clock, I'd go to my, you know, 630 or seven o'clock class. And that really helped motivate me to, to be somewhere outside of my house and to go spend that time to work out. So now it's like, OK, all I have to do is walk downstairs into this room that we've created as our little workout room. And then I sometimes just walk right past it. And I'm like, it's five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hi, honey. <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> suggestion as far as the calorie thing and the gaining of the weight. Yes. You can try to not eat like after seven or seven thirty at night, and you've still got another three to three and a half to some for some people four hours before you go to bed. Try to cut yourself off. That's another really good system to keep to put in place. The other thing to do is when you're drinking wine, and again, you don't want to deprive yourself, but what I do is I alternate it. Sometimes I, if for every glass of wine, I have a whole glass of water. So sometimes I'm double fisting, but I feel so much better. And it also fills you up, but it's almost this oral fixation that we have, you yeah. know, so just just alternate it. And if it makes you feel better, put that water in a wine glass, too. I do that. It's amazing how many times I have to learn that lesson. Yeah. Right. I know. But, but it's true. It, that we share, I think, are very, very helpful. And it, if you kind of keep these things in mind and you have these goals set, another thing you can do is take before and afters. 
take some before yeah. pictures of yourself and say, okay, let's see what I look like in two weeks after doing these 10 minute workouts every day. Yeah. I've had people start sending me pictures and they're like, I don't quite have Judy Kroll arms, but I'm getting there. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is so exciting. And I feel so proud of them because it, it takes somebody sometimes to just say, you go, this is awesome. Yeah. Every little bit of progress makes a difference. And if you miss a day or two, do not beat yourself up. It exactly. doesn't, doesn't take much to jump back up on the horse. You know, don't, don't ever beat yourself up. Yeah. Just, just, even just, if you eat that whole cupcake. Yeah. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Some, I tell myself that every time I eat a full cupcake, it's like, you know what? I'm going to eat this and I'm going to love every bite of it, <laughs> I, but I'm not going to buy a large container of them and bring them home and have that as temptation. Why would you do that to yourself? I know. Why, why would you have to, why create that battle? Just right. do it every now and then as a nice thing that you want. Little treat. And, yeah. But just don't buy the, the jumbo of anything it doesn't make any sense I like cookies in the, the cupboard that's right give you know bake cookies and give them some of them to your neighbors no, my husband i said him grocery shopping he comes back and all of a sudden there's like cookies hidden in the cupboard behind like the, the towels <laughs> there, there's nothing wrong with eating cookies just don't He's don't so cute. 14. if you try to deprive yourself completely next thing you know that's that's, you know, that's what we do, right? That's our yeah. behavior to where if someone tells me I can't do something, yeah. I'm going to want it more. You want to do. <laughs> exactly. I love your suggestion of, you know what, just have the regular meal, but cut everything in half. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a few bites of, you know, the mashed potatoes and the the dessert, yep. you're not feeling yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. 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 And stop eating late at night. That's a huge thing. That's, that's it makes, that's even if you don't want to cut your meal in half, as long as you stop snacking after a certain hour, you will see a difference. Guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. And as I said, I think people really do know when, what the right portions are to eat. But if you're not thinking about it, or you're thinking when you're, as you're just, or you're eating just as you're watching TV or you're watching a movie and it becomes just this routine, you don't have a, you don't have a stopping point. You don't realize, okay, wait, I, I I'm am full. <laughs> yeah, I'm full. And I've been full for the last 15 to 20 minutes. Right. right. But it's funny, we were doing, I was telling you about the In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy shows. And we don't always do a healthy recipe. We just do, we just kind of do a fun either um, entree or a cool salad that we love or something like that, like a quiche. Well, we had never done a dessert. So one of the girls who's watching today, Ladon, who I mentioned to you, submits recipes once in a while, and she has her own blog. And uh, so I borrowed one of her recipes. Well, it's a sheet cake called the pumpkin dream cake. Mm -hmm. And I said, there are two of us. And here, like Michelle, like you with, him, uh, with, with Rick, it going into the pantry and saying, wait, what are these cookies doing in here? I said, Paul, <laughs> we are gonna eat that whole sheet cake if we make it like that. Let's make it into cupcakes instead. Oh. So we made these little bitty bite-sized cupcakes. Well then, so I, if I have one of those with my coffee in the morning, I don't feel quite so guilty because I've got that portion already decided for me and I'm not going to go back for a second one. And it's just been a great way to enjoy those desserts, you know, without having it go to waste or feel like, oh, well, I could cut myself a slightly bigger piece. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have more discipline than I do, Judy, because if I had those little bite-sized cupcakes just within arm's reach or within a few yards, I, I would... I would be going back for more than one, but that I know my limitations. So therefore do not put the temptation don't there. Even make them. Don't even make them. <laughs> I know. It's been difficult during COVID because I think a lot of us now being home more, you know, you're like, Oh, what are we going to eat tonight? And you just, it, it feels more tempting to, to want to make some comfort food. A lot yeah. of us are stressed out. There's a lot, you know, of craziness going on. People are very fearful. And, and so we're stuffing down emotions right? when we're eating. Right. And, you know, that's what I've been finding. A lot of people have been sharing is that, oh my gosh, I'm eating more and drinking more and exercising less. So mm -hmm. I just love our conversation today because it really does help you realize you don't have to shame yourself. You don't have to deprive yourself and you don't have to you know, go do a workout that's going to take an hour and a half or, you know, each day to feel better, look no. better and mm -hmm. just, you know, relieve the stress. Yeah. yeah. Every little bit helps. It, and it really does make a humongous difference. Yeah, Judy, you, you have been such a joy. 
I know. I, we've gone over time because you're so easy to talk to. <laughs> oh, this has been fun. As I say, I, I would love to reach thousands of people with our message because I know that there are thousands out there who could really use it. So whatever time we could spend together, you know, chatting and helping women break those rules, I'm all in. Amen. Thanks, Thanks to the guys that tuned in today too. Yeah, and I, I and we love all, and all your comments. So good to hear from all of you. And yeah, it just, it's just great to know that we're, it's like a bunch of, folks just sitting around having a having a wine conversation and a little workout i love it yeah uh, judy i want to let you uh promote whatever you want to promote before we say yeah uh, good before we send <laughs> we say cheers before we, uh, <laughs> drink our wine <laughs> i do hope that if anybody hasn't uh gone on to youtube and the interesting thing is you know when you were saying watching tv you can even now watch these youtube videos on your smart tv so mm -hmm. you don't have to have your mobile device with you and kind of stare at a small screen trying to do a workout. You can actually put it up on your big screen TV. Yeah, I have you on my big screen. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's a little scary. <laughs> but you're right, Michelle. I think it's nice to be able to feel like, okay, I can see all the moves and I try very hard to get a lot of camera angles. Yes. But the YouTube channel is Judy Kroll style. And you can see the way my name is spelled. I noticed at the bottom of the screen, Cindy and Michelle put it up there. And so you just go to the YouTube app. It's the app is free. It's not YouTube TV. It's just the YouTube app that you can download and just search my name. And you'll see this little picture come up with my face in it. And you click on that and then you'll see all the different videos there. So it's get Love fit. It. Well, I'm going to be getting fit with Judy tomorrow. I, I, <laughs> that is a guarantee because if I, if, I, if I can look, I mean, we don't want to compare ourselves to anyone ever. <laughs> we don't encourage people. We don't, I, I don't want to look at, I, I'm not looking at you with envy. I'm looking at you with adoration. Oh, and um, I, I, I want to feel as good as you do. Yeah. And, I, and it, it would be a bonus if I ever got arms that looked like yours. If not, <laughs> if not you know what? I'm not going to beat myself up about it, but that I do cool. admire what you've done with your, with your body and your health. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's been so much fun to be with you. And I will I will uh, enjoy your happy hour uh, over here. Thank you so much. In my gym. <laughs> hey, 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 that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we all, Glenna says, we all want Judy arms. You're right about that. <laughs> you, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. And she's worked Thank hard for it, though. So we can't do it. it. Love bye you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I'm just kind of Judy. Oh, that's just the worst. She was saying thank you. Uh, You're very welcome. I'm so sorry. We were figuring it out. This is so fun. Oh, this my goodness. Fun. Oh, she's yes. awesome. I'm having the best time. I know. She really is an inspiration. And, and like she said, I mean, she's worked hard. And when I met her and she was teaching me <clears throat> about fitness and how to, by the way, get two pound weights because her workouts will get you in shape with just two pound weights. Um, also, My sister's a fan of Judy's now. Oh, happy. <laughs> <laughs> and well, and so, you know, she did, she went through that um, breast cancer mm. and then, um, you know, some other health challenges where she was really searching for how she could start feeling better and improve her health. In, in such a huge way that that's really what inspired me to go into looking into the bioidentical hormones for myself. And, you know, she really has um, incredible insight and a she lot does. of background as a personal trainer and a fitness um, guru to me, not just a television personality. So very lucky that we had her join us today to share her tips because she's yeah, awesome. she is she is a light. She she's is. just one of those people that you just, she exudes lightness. And I love that. Yeah. Um, should we put up our info one last time? Again, yes. So you guys definitely, please, like Judy said, you can go to the YouTube app or you can go to YouTube on your computer and just put breaking the rules show in the search bar and you'd find our, our page and subscribe. And then also we'd love it if you could like this page, Breaking the Rules show, and share this show today on your Facebook page, and you will be entered to win our amazing gift with Drunk Elephant, this wonderful gift pack that yeah. we have. That which, has is worth, which is worth quite a bit. It really is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, my girlfriend's like, you're giving that away? <laughs> yeah, it's a really good gift. Yes. Really good. 
And right. I have it's some other really brands that uh, down the road will be offering some more giveaways. But if you're interested in the uh, Drunk Elephant, we would love for, your, for your, you guys to support us and share. And we want to reward you with that. So, And we, we also want your ideas, too. Anything you want us to talk about, any guests you want us to have on, any, any topics that are really important to you, please feel free to get in touch. Because it's all about us helping each other. That's yeah. what this show is about. It really is breaking the rules we put on ourselves that keep us from being happy. Enough of those rules. Life's too short to not be happy. We got to make the best of it, make it as great as it can be. So true. All right. Okay. So next Thanks, week, everybody. Who do we have? Uh, I believe. Let's uh, let's just Todd. A whole, yeah, we have Todd. Although I haven't talked to him lately, so uh, we're the, the the plan is to talk about masculinity and how the face of masculinity is changing in our world. Uh, the singer Harry Styles caused quite a brouhaha recently by posing on the cover of Vogue in a dress. And you wouldn't believe the reaction of people. Some just were just insanely angry about it. And some people said, hey, good for him. So I think it'll be a really interesting topic. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then we have another expert of or experts on divorce, going through divorce. And yes. Also bioidentical hormones, the show coming up on all about that. Uh, a physician who is very, very incredible, yeah. sharing all that knowledge for women and men. So we've got some really good shows coming up. Yeah. Out. This thing is we'll learn something, you'll learn something, and we, we can all have a great discussion about it at the same time. Well, the sun is changing. Now, uh -oh, so I think we better say goodbye. See you back here <laughs> next Wednesday, <laughs> four o'clock Eastern, guys. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us. Have a great day, and thanks again for all your comments and uh, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Bye bye. bye, -bye.